guys, it is officially time for our 2021 summer reading program. Our theme this year is Tales and Tales, so this summer is going to be packed full of animal-like programs and classic fairy tales. So be sure to go to thebookplace.beanstack.org to get signed up, log your hours, and earn prizes. We are going to go ahead and get started with our first program today, and our book today is called Once Upon a Slime. We're gonna try something new today. We're gonna try to read it on my Kindle. Let's see how it goes. So this is Once Upon a Slime by Andy Maxwell. Once upon a time, Goldilocks visited her old friends, the three bears. Sure, they'd gotten off to a rocky start, what with the whole porridge thing, but by now everyone was totally over it. Plus, she thought, who could stay mad at a girl with such beautiful golden locks? Goldilocks had just opened the bear's door when... Slorp! Ew! Gross! Goldilocks yelled. Okay, wise guys, who did this? Not me, Papa Bear said. I would never, Mama Bear said. Goldilocks turned to Baby Bear. Then it had to be you. You're still mad I broke your chair. You all see what happened? As soon as she walked in the door, all that slime fell right on her head. I wonder who did it. Baby Bear can't even reach that high, Mama Bear said. Goldilocks squinted suspiciously. Hmm. Well, if it wasn't you, who did it? I don't know, Papa Bear scratched his head. Maybe Granny can help us. She loves a good mystery. Yay, it's a real whodunit, said Baby Bear as they headed out to Granny's. On the way, Goldilocks and the three bears ran into Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf having a picnic. Um, excuse me, said Goldilocks. Did you two see any creepy characters lurking around here? Somebody just slimed me at the three bears house. Oh, hey, Goldie, Wolf mumbled. Listen, Red and I are kind of busy here. Granny's really sick, and we got to get the basket, this basket to her. Wish we could help you and all, but... Oh, Granny, uh, you're looking well. Granny was hustling up the path. Wasn't that, su wasn't that supposed to mean? Shouted Granny and get your paws off my cake. She lunged for her basket of goodies when... Glorp! Ew, gross! Wailed Little Red Riding Hood. They all got slime too. I wonder who's doing this. Do y'all have any guesses? Oh, why'd you ruin the cake, Granny? Whined Wolf. I was eating that. You think I'd slime myself? Hollered Granny. I didn't do this. I should punch you right in the schnozzle, Wolfie. Take a chill pill, Granny, said Wolf. As Granny wound up to sock him in the snout, Mama Bear broke up the scuffle. One sliming could be an accident, Papa Bear said. But two? Someone is definitely up to something. Goldilocks had a brainstorm. <gasps> Rapunzel, she's always been out to get me. Before long, the gang arrived at Rapunzel's tower. Admit it, Rapunzel, Goldie shouted. It was you who slimed me. You've always been jealous of my beautiful curly locks. Just as Goldilocks grabbed the long ponytail and gave it a good yank, Rapunzel herself strolled around the corner. Hey, everyone! The group gasped. Huh? If Rapunzel was standing right there, then whose hair is that? Grrr, slurp! Ew, gross! Everyone yelled, the sky is falling, squealed Baby Bear. 
Wrong fairy tale, baby bear, said Mama Bear. Hey, why'd you slime us, Rapunzel? Wolf demanded. Rapunzel wiped a glob of goop from her dress. Me? Ew, I didn't. This stuff is disgusting. But where did that fake hair come from? Red wondered. It was a trap, Goldilocks declared. Hey, said the wolf, I know three little guys who know an awful lot about traps. Who do you think they're gonna go see next? I think it's the three little pigs. And that's how they ended up at the three little pigs garden. Oh no, the wolf, cried the littlest pig. He'll huff and he'll puff. Just cool your chinny chin chins, dudes, said wolf. Let's not forget which one of us got burned last time. Wait, you're that wolf too? Asked Red. The wolf shrugged. Hey, it's a living. Look, Goldilocks interrupted. We're just trying to figure out who's been sliming everyone. Got any ideas? How dare you, the biggest pig snorted. Just because we're pigs when you hear the word slime, you automatically think of us. Before Goldilocks could even respond, what do you all think is gonna happen? Slorp! Ew, gross! The garden sprinkler was spraying slime? Everyone ran for cover. Aha, so it was you. Wolf accused the pigs. It wasn't us. Somebody must have rigged it, they protested. Okay, people, Goldilocks shouted. No one's going anywhere until we figure this out. Let's break it down, Goldilocks began. If it isn't any of the bears, although I'm still not 100% sure about Baby Bear, and it's not Little Red Riding Hood or the Big Bad Wolf or Granny, I sure wish I thought of it though, said Granny. And it's not Rapunzel, not the pigs, and it wasn't me. Well, duh, Rapunzel rolled her eyes. Who would think it's funny to see a bunch of fairy tale folks getting slimed, asked Goldilocks. And that's when she realized there was one person they hadn't thought of. Can you all guess who it is? It was you, the author, Goldilocks accused. You slimed us. Me, said the author. What? No, that's crazy. He made me live in a straw house, whined one of the pigs. And he made a prince climb up my hair like a rope, said Rapunzel. And he made you lousy kids eat all my cake, Granny said. I ought to potch him right in the schnozzle. Guys, guys, the author broke in. Look, yes, fine, I did write the story. So I guess in that way, technically, I did kind of slime you. But I couldn't actually slime you. I mean, I'm not even in that story, right? Uh, whatever, I get it, Goldilocks said. But then who did do it? Because we're totally out of suspects. Suddenly, there was a mighty croak. Oh, no, you're not. Uh-oh. Now, who is this? <gasps> At their feet stood a small frog wearing a crown. Who did it, you ask? Twas I, the frog prince. I confess, at last I have seen my revenge upon all of you. The frog cleared his throat. <clears> throat> Let's start with you, big bad wolf. Pretending to be the king of the forest when I, the frog prince, am the true heir to the throne? And you, Rapunzel, remember the day I tried to croak a duet with you and you pushed me off the tower? That really hurt. As for grandmother, I'm terribly sorry. I was actually going for baby bear who had nearly stepped on me last spring. But you, little pigs, you poke fun at my slimy pond when you literally, literally live in a pigsty. Then there's you, Goldilocks. The frog wiped away a gloopy tear. Oh, Goldilocks, you hurt me the most. 
so it was the frog who did it. Did you all guess right? <clears throat> you could have been my princess, the frog said wistfully. All I desired was a kiss to free me of this curse, but alas. And so I have taken great pleasure in drenching each of you with slime from my pond to teach you an important lesson about honesty, dignity, and honor. Everyone was speechless. Wow, said Red finally. Anybody here know how to speak frog? It really seems like this fella is trying to tell us something, doesn't it? So he just gave him that big long speech and they couldn't even understand it. All they heard was ribbit, ribbit. Goldilocks bent down and picked up the frog. It's okay, little guy. Come here, let me give you a smooch. I don't want your kiss, croaked the frog prince as Goldilocks puckered up. I want revenge. Poof! With her kiss, the frog prince turned back into a regular prince. Ahem, <clears throat> as I was saying, the prince continued, "'Twas I, the frog prince, who slimed you." There was an awkward moment. "'Wait a minute, you're a prince?' said Goldilocks, eyeing him. "'Like, with a whole kingdom to rule? You know, I'd be really great at that.' She kissed him again. "'Ew, gross,' said Rapunzel. "'That's messed up,' Wolf said. "'I guess all's well that ends well,' said Papa Bear. "'Is there any more cake?' Granny asked nobody in particular. So the frog turned into a prince at last, didn't he? And so they all lived happily ever after. Or in the case of Goldilocks and her prince, slimily ever after. The end. That was a cute little story, wasn't it? It's kind of a mix of all the classic fairy tales. So, because that book was called Once Upon a Slime, guess what we're gonna be making for our craft today? You guessed it, slime. So be sure to join us. It's super simple and you all should have the ingredients to do it right at your own house. All right guys, so for our craft today, we are gonna be making some slime. What you're gonna need to make your slime is some clear glue, some foam shaving cream, some contact solution and some baking soda. Okay, so we are gonna start off with our shaving cream. You're gonna need a big bowl to put it in and some measuring cups. So you need three heaping cups of shaving cream. Mine doesn't wanna come out. So there's one. can put more or less shaving cream in your slime. It just depends on what you want the texture to be. So I've got my three cups of shaving cream. Next, we are going to add our food coloring, which is another ingredient I forgot. You all can make it any color you want. I think I might go with a kind of Let's try green. Green is my favorite, so we'll try green. Actually, I just saw the purple, so we're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna add two drops to start off with and see how the color turns out. Okay. Be sure to have an adult help you with this because it can get super messy. As you can see, I've already got the food coloring all over my hands. So we're just gonna mix that up good until we get the color we want. Okay, and I like 
block that purple. I think that's pretty. So we're just gonna do that. And I only did two drops of food coloring. So if you want it kind of light like this, I wouldn't do any more than that. All right, so next we are gonna add a half a cup of glue to the shaving cream. And we're gonna mix that up, up good before we add anything else. Okay, after we get the glue mixed in, we are gonna take a half a teaspoon of baking soda and mix it in. Baking soda. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon. And mix it in. Mix it real good. All right, and then we are going to add a tablespoon of our contact solution. start stirring and then if your slime is too sticky try adding more contact solution but don't add too much because your slime will get less sticky the more you play with it all right and I am gonna take my hands and just try to mix it all together real good and this is the part that gets really messy that you'll need some help with see how it's sticking to my hands I may have to add some more contact solution but I'm gonna work with it a minute and see if it makes it less sticky first so after you get it all nice and the texture you need it to be to where you can play with it without making a huge mess you can put in some little charms and beads or glitter whatever you want so a little tip that i did not use before you get your slime out of the bowl and start kneading it like i am put some contact solution on your hands because that will keep it from sticking so much because you don't want to end up like this. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna knead this and get it to the right consistency and I will be back to show you my finished product. All right guys, so here's my finished slime. As you can see, it is not sticky anymore. I did end up adding some more contact solution to it and I tried to add in some glitter and confetti, but it's hard to see. My slime turned out a little too thick but it is not sticky anymore and it is super fluffy and fun to play with so i hope you all enjoyed this program if you all make slime be sure to send in some videos or pictures so that we can see your finished product and be sure to join us back next week for our program see you guys